Hey everybody, Drew Bell here. Welcome back to Gay Real Night. And, um, let's see. So, the first thing I would want to do is to put on my disguise because, uh, as I found out in the last episode. Alright. Take your disguise now. Gee, a boar. How thoughtful. And what are you, pray tell? Uh, a wolf? <laughs> you goddamn wiener. You know, he kills he he calls me a wiener way too many times in this game. But um yeah, as we see uh in the last episode, if I do not disguise, uh Dr. John will a come wolf. in here. How appropriate. And murder me. <laughs> Someone's coming. Race! Get down. What are you doing here? The chilling room was empty. Go to the circle. Now. Oh, it's pretty festive. I can see the uh, the Veve here. Hey, don't touch her. You let her down, jerk nose. Lots of half naked ladies. Oh, don't. Maybe you shouldn't put her down. This is a f this is a ritual f sacrifice table. Damn it! She's already being ridden by Tetelo. Oh, that's that's Malia. Okay. What? What? what you said. Yeah, yeah, I know. Great, now what? I don't know. Um, well. What are you gonna do with those. Alright. Oh, I guess we're gonna choke the chicken and get some blood sacrifice? I don't know. It doesn't look good, though. He touches her. Don't shush me. He's. What are you doing with oh, that knife? Father Green, take this sacrifice. Do something quick. Well, first I'm gonna save. That's what I'm gonna do, quick. Okay, um... Do I just... walk up? There's no escaping now. Uh, call out to her. That's what I was supposed to do. I really don't want to be dead. Can we try that again? Uh, yeah, sure, Gabriel, if you say so. Let's do that. And of course, I've turned the music down again. That is a frustrating little bug. Okay, so. What can I do? Okay, she's in immediate danger. I was thinking of doing something to Dr. John, but... I don't know. Use the magical MacGuffin here. There we go. Dedalo, stop! Won't let you kill her! What? You bastard of a bastard! Don't call me a bastard, you bitch! Uh-oh, the talisman seems to have little effect at uh, protecting Grace from a distance. No, I guess I... Oh, she... Hey! She escaped. Get it, Dr. Joe! Kill her! We must have to sacrifice! Whoa, um, shoot, I hope I didn't die. Oh, Mosley. Pulled out that gun. All of you. Good one, Mosley. So that's what he was for. Because I was thinking, okay, you gotta have some reason to bring him. Man, am I glad that guy is finally dead. You have killed my chosen one, witch hunter. Or that 
you shall pay. Wait, what did he just? What'd she just do? But first, these intruders shall die. Give me the tavern, witch hunter, or your friends will die horribly. Right now. Huh. I really liked um her last two uh, her last two note, uh, notes on that voice. It was very catty. Which let's see, she turns into a, an ocelot or whatever. So that's good. Okay, so I'm gonna use this on you. All right. No, I didn't want to take it. Give it to you, Gabriel. No. I was trying to use it on you. Now die like the dog that you are. Oh. <laughs> did he just? Uh, did she just rip? <laughs> Hold on. Did she just rip like uh, thrust her hand into my bag and kill me? Because that is pretty awesome. <laughs> if not a little gruesome. Oh, we gotta do this again. Okay, so I was actually trying to use it on her, um, but since I'm definitely holding it, maybe I should just play monkey in the middle here. Tetula, you want the talisman? Here, catch. Go on, get Grace out of here. He looks like he has no head. Maybe he doesn't. I don't know. What about? Just go! You are unarmed now, witch hunter. Approach me and kneel. Malia, are you there? Oh, uh, this is a little tense. Um, yeah, we're gonna have a lot of saving, probably. Okay, I didn't know she was going to say that, so let's say it again, because I don't really want to have that going when I die a lot. Um, okay, so she has a knife at my throat, and maybe I can, like, this isn't going to work, but let's try it. Gabriel can't do that to Molly. I was trying to do it to, my, to save myself, actually. Take it. No! No, I... Wait, I actually took the knife? Wait, what did I just take? I was trying to take the knife away from her. <laughs> and then I did something else? Well, this is not... This isn't good? Wait, I, I don't want Malia to die. I don't want her to die. Well, I'm gonna regret it, but I better pull her up. I've got you, Malia. You... No, you will betray her, witch hunter. I won't let you kill her, Gabriel. You didn't betray me. I've got you. Uh, it's no good. It has to end with me. No! Don't let go! Damn it! Don't you let go! Goodbye, my love. No. No! <sighs> I think it's over now. It's kind of a Hitchcockian yes. ending. I'm sorry but... about Malia. Yes. I know you cared for her. You've changed, you know. Have I? 
Yeah. So, um, are you gonna do it? Be shot in Yanker? I'm gonna try. Don't worry, though. You'll be back at school, safe and sound. I don't have to go back. Grace! Give up your PhD? Yeah, loped with Gabriel. There are Gabriel. things in this world, Gabriel. A spiritual path could be more important than a path of the mind. Spiritual path, huh? Well, you're welcome to stay, Grace. Just as long as you don't expect me to know what I'm doing. This is a historical moment, isn't it? 300 years ago, the Ritter Talisman was stolen by Tetala. She used to draw her family to power by your family with her. She helped provoke the slave revolt in Haiti. She's probably the reason for a lot of the flavor and history of New Orleans. Good and bad. Now she's gone and your family is restarting. It, it almost makes you wonder, doesn't it? If it wasn't supposed to happen that way. You know, good coming from evil. You think too much. Yeah, I was but really, agreeing I think there. the most tragic thing was all those generations of young women, like Maya, trapped by this large, overriding personality forced into a life of horror. Yeah, kind of reminds me of living with you, Grace. <laughs> you know when I said you've changed? Yeah. I was wrong. Are you sorry? Nah. Um, oh! Final score! Th uh, 340 out of 342. So I missed two points. I'd be very interested in knowing where they... where those two points were, but uh... Eh, not bad. For the first time ever playing. So I mean, what did I think about it? Well... Had a really good, um, story. In fact, a lot better than I was expecting. Um... You know, clearly it was written by someone who knew what she was doing. Um, I mean, to the point where there were a lot of things that I could predict, because um, there were a lot of things that I kind of expected in, um, you know, in this sort of game. I mean, not that, not that that's bad, I'm just saying that uh, some of it was just, I don't know, kind of generic. But then again, you know, I have to realize that this is the same uh, the same year that uh, King's Quest 6 came out, which, as much as I do love King's Quest 6, I'd imagine that uh, Gabriel Knight has... I, I would say that this game has more of a story, although that was sort of a problem, because I felt that this game packed way too much lore into it, to the point that, you know, it just got a little convoluted. I mean, toward the end, it's just, you know, what do you do? You just, um... You know, all, all you're doing is just shooting Dr. John, um, making Malia fall down the thing, and, you know, it's it's over. There was a lot of other stuff involved. I mean, the shot in Jaeger thing was in, involved, but... I guess my, my real complaint is that I really wish that, um, when they made this game, they had limited the dialogue option, you know, when you have to question people. Uh, the things that actually matter, because that took a lot of time, but then again, you know, I'm just saying in hindsight, you know, this game came over, what, um, geez, almost 20 years ago, but now, that said, this is a fantastic story, a fantastic plot, um, a lot of really good characters, I loved, um, pretty much all the characters. Uh, some more than others, um... And I mean, you know, that's... Uh, that's really good. It's a good story. The gameplay? Uh, I mean, you know, um, having to figure out... About all those cursors. There were so many cursors. But, you know, that's also a sign of the times. I know it's streamlined now, but... The push-pull thing only... I only needed to do that like maybe two or three times in the entire game. Didn't have to be there. Um, why am I nitpicking? It was actually good gameplay. Uh, let's see. Pretty much everything was streamlined. You know, I, every day I could just go to um, an, item, an area on the map and say, okay, well this has changed, or okay, well this has not changed. So I mean, it was easy to find out what I needed to do and 
do it. Um, I appreciated that the game didn't really screw me over. Uh, I guess it could have screwed me over if I wasn't being paying attention. Yeah, but since I was, uh, wasn't a big problem. So uh, this was a good game. Um, there's some final, finer details about what I think, but I don't. I think I'll uh, not talk too much about it. Okay, so what do I plan to do in the near future? Um, it's sort of up in the air, and I'm considering making a, a second, a, a coming video after this to, um, talk about what I might do. Um, Monkey Island 2 is a very good bet. Um, doing a game of Civ 5, or Civilization 5, would also be a good bet. I'd probably play it on, um... Emperor mode, which is sort of one of the more difficult modes if you've never played the game. Um, I also planned to do Baldur's Gate 2, but I've seen that Togoff is starting it, and I'd like to I'd like to play a game that he hasn't. I don't want to have my you know I'd like to dilute my channel a little bit. Um, I may also think I might try to find a way to. Um, obtain Paper Mario 2 because that's a game I've never played and I always wanted to play it um, and it might be a good opportunity to play so and also there's Final Fantasy 5 you know one of the reasons I wanted to play or start this channel was so I could play it for the first time but I mean a Final Fantasy game even if it is one of the earlier ones um, <laughs> You're, you're talking about several month commitment to playing it, and I don't know if I really want to put that much commitment into Final Fantasy V, which I don't know what it's about, but I do know that it's not going to hold up to certainly not the sixth game, which is just fantastic, or the ninth game. Um, so, I mean, there's, there's a lot of projects that I'm thinking of, but... I don't know which one's gonna f be the right fit for me. I mean, there's also a lot of adventure games, of course, that I haven't played. I mean, I've never played anything outside uh, the King's Quest games, although I didn't play Mask of Eternity. Um, I've played the first two Space Quests, so it may be interesting to play the, you know, other Space Quests. Um, otherwise, I never played any of the other um, uh, adventure games. Although I did play uh, Grey Matter, so I mean, I can't just, you know, go back and do that, too. Um, so, that's pretty much all I have to say right now. Um, I'll probably post another video talking about what I'll probably think about for my next projects. Of course, you can also give me some um, suggestions in the comments. So, uh, thank you for watching Gabriel Knight. Very good game. And I hope to see you in another game, and another project, and thanks for all the support and sticking with me. You guys are fantastic. I love you guys, so I will see you in another project. Thank you.